European Championship 3000 metre final. And the world junior champion goes straight in front, Zabo Rebellion. Murray goes second at the moment. Fantas of France in third place. Looking for Sonny O'Sullivan. Zabo slotted right down. I'm not sure a slow pace will suit Sonia. Zabo, having gone to the front, has slotted right down. She's only 18, just won the world junior title. And Phil Pot takes it on as Sullivan's Irish teammate. Yvonne Murray second, Zabo third. In fourth place is Wyeth. Fifth is Chabanova of the Soviet Union. Sixth is Kearns of Holland. Phil Pot taking it out. Murray in second place will stay close to the leader. Alison Wyeth goes third. Very consistent athlete, Wyeth. Come through a period of uh, illness and injury, but uh, well through it too. Zabo next. Giovanno back. Then Patters of France. O'Sullivan, Ireland. Well, the first lap, 69 seconds, so they've got a little bit of a better pace than uh, one anticipated, but Yvonne Murray striking out very, very early, but you can see the intent on Sonia O'Sullivan's face. She'll be absolutely delighted that Yvonne struck out like that. Yvonne wants a true run race because she's been doing the extra distance training. She feels as though her, her strength is her strength. And now Yvonne Murray coming up after just 600 metres in the lead. Well, that's a little bit of a surprise for me, but I'm sure that Sonia will be delighted in second place having Yvonne take it out for her. Alison Wise moving through quickly in, the, in fourth place there. And uh, Sonia O'Sullivan just in a position that she couldn't have believed would happen. Oh, what? Wyatt has uh, covered the gap. She's in fourth place at the moment. And Yvonne Murray is really stretching them out. She's got problems, though, with tactics. How does she handle this? She's met uh, O'Sullivan four times at various distances this year, and they've beaten every time. She's tried coming from the back. She's tried pushing it. 2, 16.43, 66.49, an increase in pace. Murray leads. A Sullivan in second place at the moment. Third is uh, Chevanova, the weaker of the two Russians, in fact. Fourth is Wyatt, fifth is Fatters of France, sixth place Barisova of Russia, the best of the two, and Zabo, the world junior champion Romania, is in seventh place. 250 for a thousand metres, that's 830, that's almost on schedule for Yvonne Murray's personal best of 829 seconds. But that 66 second lap, that's just blown the field apart, and they've gone from being all together in a group to now they're spread over about 50, 60 metres. That's a very fast lap by Yvonne Murray. But I think this is a sensible way for Yvonne to run as long as she can keep her composure, as long as she doesn't panic and expect the field to be drifting behind her. She knows Sonia O'Sullivan's going to be behind her. I'm sure she expects that to happen. I'm sure she expects Sonia to stay in contact no matter what she does. But Yvonne isn't leading there and she's got to start concentrating on just keeping up composure and keeping the pace consistently. And the pace is fast. It's around 8 minutes 30 seconds at the moment. Murray leads, O'Sullivan in second place. Chobanova in third, Wyeth four, Borisova five, Fata six, Zabo seven. Messaris, Romania eight, ninth, Sonia McGeorge of Great Britain. And they struck out a long way. And we're down to two now with four laps to go. Murray leading, O'Sullivan in second place. The battle we've seen four times this season. Murray brave enough to take it on. Is it wise? Well, I think the consistency of the pace is sensible. If she'd burst away to try and get rid of them all together, then I would have been a bit nervous for her. But I think she's stronger this year than she's ever been. And certainly you can tell that she's not going to give up her title without a battle. She's clear. The two of them are clear in, third, in first and second place. And I think she should know that. She'll have looked at the screen to see that the two of them are clear. So is it going to be gold this time for Yvonne Murray? Or is it going to be gold for Sonia O'Sullivan? Now, Yvonne has just got to consistently apply the pressure and not worry that, that Sonia O'Sullivan is behind her. I think the extra strength she's got this year stands up in good stead. Not going to be easy. A mental test as well as a physical test. 
Murray leads, a Sullivan in second place. The race for gold and silver at the moment between them with three to go. Wyeth in third place. Cherbanova of Russia in fourth place. Fifth is Zarbo, Romania. Six fighters in France. And seventh, Borisova of Russia. Borisova has been the... Borisova has been the most consistent of the two Russians, although she's not quite got the fastest time of the two. Just over two and a half laps left. We'll get the lap time here. Murray has been setting out consistently around 67 to 68, and this one, 69. 541 for 2,000 metres. That's very, very close to Yvonne Murray's personal best time. But I just feel now that the pressure of leading is catching up with Yvonne. She just looked over her shoulder just slightly there and she saw Sonia O'Sullivan. I know she expected Sonia O'Sullivan to be there, but when you think about it, Ireland have never won a gold medal in the European Championships. They've won silver medals three times in the men's 1500 and they've always been deprived of a gold medal by a British athlete. I wonder if tonight it's going to be a reversal of that. Well, the Sullivan looks very organised in second place. Almost casual. Content to take the ride. What Yvonne Murray has done, though, is ensured herself of a top two placing, unless she splits dramatically, and she's showing signs of tiring. Murray will be a little heavy-legged, and it's not surprising. As Sullivan now senses that. Moves out slightly. Let's Murray know the threat is there. As if Murray didn't know. I think Sonia's waiting now in second place. I don't think she can believe she's had such a trouble-free run with 600 metres to go. When will she strike? A 70-second lap there, just slowing a little. And the pendulum is beginning to swing towards Sonia O'Sullivan. She's moved out. She's given herself the vision. She can see Yvonne Murray, and Yvonne Murray knows that she's there. 500 metres to go. And is this going to be Ireland's first ever European Championship gold medal? It couldn't happen to a nicer person. It couldn't happen to a better athlete. Yvonne Murray still battling there. The defending champion against the new world number one. Murray versus O'Sullivan. Met four times this season. O'Sullivan's been the winner each time over various distances. A courageous piece of running by Murray. And O'Sullivan waits and waits. For the test will come. 300 to go. Zarbo in third place. German over fourth. Borisova in fifth place. Wyatt sixth. And there, O'Sullivan now is going to take on the defending champion. We're looking at the wrong part of the race there. But now we're with the leaders. Less than 200. Sullivan strikes, and it is decisive for Murray now. It's a question of staying on, but she's certain of the silver. A superb run by Sonia O'Sullivan. She comes storming away to take the European title. The timing, 31.83. Yvonne Murray takes the silver to add to the gold. She got four years ago. Zabo is third, the young Romanian. Fourth is Chervanova. Fifth, Barisova. Sixth, Alison Wyatt. Seventh, Paris. Eighth, Dandolo. Ninth, Pesaros. Tenth, Brune. And eleventh, Sonia McGeorge. Well, what a brave piece of running by Yvonne Murray. The champion went all the way, 200 metres to go, and then she, she get when she surrendered the lead. I think that was a magnificent piece of running by Yvonne Murray, but she met a true champion. She met a great sprinter, she met a great distance runner, and Sonia's got those combined talents. And you knew with 200 metres to go that Yvonne wasn't going to win the gold medal. But I don't think she should have anything to be worried about there. I think that was as good as she could have done today. She just happened to meet Ireland's first ever European Championship gold medalist. And if you think about the great runners they've had from Ireland over the years, then you've got to be pleased with that. She deserves it. A wonderful record she's got this season. First in Gateshead, first in the Oslo Mile, first in Stockholm, first in Nice, first in Crystal Palace. So it goes on. A lot of Irish support here. I'm ready. 
Sonia got a free ride from Yvonne Murray. But what Yvonne did by going out and striking out was to make sure the two class athletes were not going to be caught in a fast finish. And she really took out a piece of insurance for the silver medal. She certainly did that. And if you look at it, look how quickly Sonia Sullivan opened up the gap. With 600 metres to go, she knew it was hers. With 400 metres to go, she decided it was hers, but she waited very, very cleverly. She wasn't going to let anything go wrong. She's got acres of running left in her. What a magnificent performance by Sonia O'Sullivan. And I'm personally delighted for her and for Ireland. So the European Championship now belongs to Ireland. As does the world record for 2,000 uh, metres. She broke that earlier this season. Started the campaign on the Aberdeen Road Race when she made a bond head on there. They had a tremendous bottle. And Sonia won that. They've had four real battles head on this season. But a Sullivan has won each one. And again now, in the fifth clash, she's the number one. Sonia looks across, and she's looking across at her father, you may have seen earlier, hoisting her onto the uh, advertising hoardings around the outside of the track. Back of Ireland. 8.31.84, the winning time, just outside the championship record. Yvonne Murray, tremendous run in second place, 8.36.48. Zabo, well, she's only 18. The European... Uh, a world junior champion from Romania, 840.08, a personal best, a marvellous run for her too. And Chebanova, personal best for her in fourth place, 840.48. Alison Wyatt was in sixth place, 845.76. And Sonia McGeorge, 851.55. I think that's Sonia's best time of the season. In fact, it is. So she's done her running. And Phil Bott of Ireland, a personal best for her, 854.79. Well, Sonia's still enjoying herself. She's now 24. Based in Teddington, where some of the Kenyan athletes are based. And in fact, she trains with some of the Kenyan men. And they're amazed at her ability. She usually has a smile for everyone. Win or lose, but this season winning has become the habit. Silver medal of the World Championships changed her. I just couldn't picture what could go wrong, and you know, I mean, things went a little different than I could have hoped for tonight. But you know, I mean, I was really ready for anything, and I think Yvonne really made me work tonight to win this medal. And you know, I mean, deservedly since she was coming back to try and retain the title. And you know, I mean, I think that was the best possible way we, we both could have run the race. You couldn't have believed you were going to get a pacemaker for that long. I mean, you must be delighted when she did that. It's the first time I've been, been behind Yvonne this year, so no, it was great. And we, if you look at us now, you'll see that the last 200 metres you were waiting and waiting and eventually you took off and I mean, there was obviously a lot more running in your legs tonight. Yeah, I mean, I kept looking at Yvonne and, you know, I kept, I mean, I got to the point where I was, kept hitting her, like, kind of looking and saying, okay, when are you going, when are you going? And I just kept waiting and waiting and, you know, I mean, I was getting impatient the whole time and I think, you know, finally I just decided, okay, I'm going to go, this is it. And, you know, when there was no response, I really went again for the second time. Well, Ireland, have, like I said to you earlier, Ireland, this is Ireland's first gold medal in the European Championships, and the other three medals that they've won have always been beaten by Britons. It must be nice for you to reverse the role. Oh, fantastic, absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonny. It was a privilege watching it tonight. World Championship. So Helsinki, a place for the Irish to celebrate. Sonia O'Sullivan takes the goal for Ireland. The new European record holder, the world record holder at 2,000 metres, and now the European champion. The winning time, 8 minutes 31.84. Yvonne Murray takes the silver to go with the gold she won four years ago.
Rossi for on by her. Took it out from the front. Finished second in 8 minutes 36.48. Less a name to look forward to. Gabriella Zabo. 18 years old. Just a few days ago won the World Junior Championship. Came here to set a personal best in the bronze medal position. 8 minutes 40.08. Gabriella Zabo. Nina Holman of Finland, who won the first ever European 3000 meters title. Nina Holman really enjoyed the occasion. Of course, the 3000 meters disappears from the program from here on and becomes the 5000 meters for win. Sonia O'Sullivan turns now for the playing of the anthem. season 